text-to-voice synthesis provided by Vidnami. The Insurrection Act is live. January 11, 2021 by Anna Von writes. Simon Parks is exactly right, time to stop dancing around, and apparently, they have all come to that conclusion. The Insurrection Act was signed last night. Thousands of troops are in Washington, D.C., and they aren't there for fun. Other common-sense measures you can expect. Nationalization of all six major foreign media conglomerates which have been so much a part of the disinformation and propaganda problem, and which have been abusing their privileged use of our airwaves. Issuance of new currency is inevitable because of the legalized counterfeiting, like the legalized lying allowed by the Obama administration. Unfortunately, there is no way to tell the difference between a $100 bill printed in China and a $100 bill printed by the U.S. Mint, because Obama exported the actual engraving plates and papers and inks and printing presses to various locations all over the world. The perpetrators are looking at the necessity of exchanging the tainted currency with an American currency and paying full value for it. The big European and Oriental banks that conspired and benefited from bilking the Americans for the past 150 years are suddenly facing the fact that each one of our silver dollars is pegged against hundreds of thousands of dollars of their debt. When all the accounting is done properly, everyone on earth is in debt to the Americans, which is why so many guilty parties have conspired to kill their creditors, on paper and in fact. The CIA is looking at complete and permanent liquidation of its offices and assets, including confiscation of its sidebar, offshore, pension fund. HSBC, Bank of England, and Bank of Scotland are all staring down the nose of a paper gun and are likely to be liquidated for their crimes and nationalized by a new government for Great Britain. It's long overdue. Complicit members of Parliament are either under arrest or in custody for questioning, not sure which, but it will become apparent. Bank of France isn't in any better condition, simply involved in similar schemes and breaches of trust in different corners of the world. Bank of America and Deutsche Bank are holding the securities and derivatives ends, respectively, of the great mortgage fraud, with the non-existent MERS Corporation standing in between, so that there is no valid chain of title to anything. Every chain of title touched by MERS has been broken, so it all reverts to the underlying patents, which we, the United States of America, hold. We are here to protect the so-called, little people, of the world, not the corporate interests, so you can expect that the self-investment that has been keeping the rigged stock exchanges alive will abruptly cease at some point. If you can't read the tea leaves, that means get your life savings out of the stock markets and out of the banks, too. Risk nothing that you can't afford to lose. Meanwhile, in Italy, news that one of their defense contractors went rogue and conspired with Vatican operatives to manipulate the U.S. elections as front-page news. Arrest warrants have been issued for the Italian president and the general directly responsible. Last night, Vatican City stood dark and appeared abandoned, just like Buckingham Palace. President Trump has removed to an operations base in the American West and millions of Americans are watching football games complete with roaring fans that are now merely sound effects, and other millions are watching ancient movies featuring actors who are long since dead. Take a moment today to unglue and go outside and breathe some fresh air and think some fresh thoughts. When you start to clean house, everything gets more chaotic. That's just the nature of things. And then, after a while, after the garbage and yard sale items are extracted, after your decisions have been made, life settles down again. We are in the ugly phase of it right now. There are many sad and many inconvenient and many angering facts to face. Lots of stress. Lots of confusion. Try to look past it. Sometimes the best thing you can do, is just go to your happy place and let the rest of it roll.